Well, I'm very pleased to have with me another member of civil society here at WISIS 2015. He is Raymond Morel. He is a member of the International Federation for Information Processing. Mr. Morel, hello. Hello. Now, you've been involved in two uh, very interesting thematic workshops this week. It's one of the features of uh, WISIS. The first one involved uh, building trust in technology and information. Uh, how do we go about that? What are the issues there? You mean uh, the first uh, workshop called uh, IP3? IP3. Or IT professionalism. Yes. You have already uh, certainly a uh, link with uh, another interview with Brenda Ainsley. Of course, yes, yes, we spoke to her. And you understand that uh, to be credible, uh, informatician should be, one, recognized. Secondly, have a code of conduct or code of ethics. Third, they need to have some push to keep their excellence level <laughs> through capacity building facility, lifelong learning, and so on. Okay, so professionalism is important. Yeah. But this code of ethics, yeah. what would be the features of that? Have, have we come to any kind of agreement about what that code of ethics should be? Uh, it's quite interesting what you say, because uh, I try already uh, in other cycles, because I am a Swiss uh, member of the uh, Academy of Engineering Science in Switzerland, to put people to, t to speak about ethics and technology together. And uh, I can assure you that if you have people speaking English, French, and German in the same room, and you speak about moral, e ethics, code of conduct, code of deontology, uh, governance, and so on, all the words used are not the same meaning, have the, not the same meaning in each language. Right. So it's, so it's a tough. very big challenge to have something uh, understandable and uh, useful. You can sign the code and so on. And as an example, I think one of the best example of code of conduct I know, it's a code of conduct for the Australian Computer Society. It's only six uh, items, very uh, simple to understand. Of course, if you like to go further, you have uh, some <laughs> development, but not uh, a law or a big uh, juridic text, or I don't know. Okay, so how will, assuming that you do eventually arrive at a satisfactory model yeah. for, for your code of conduct and your other elements that you mentioned, professionalism and so forth, how will that contribute, do you think, to that sense of building trust? Uh, you know that actually, if you take some uh, figure from uh, the Gartner Group or something like that, uh, you have till 80% of software development, ICT project, which are failing uh, with a delay, not satisfied, and so on. Okay, and it's huge money out of the play, okay. so, so but yeah, also just, just the trust to... and confidence, yes. because you can't uh, separate or use only one word. In German, you have Vertrauen, in French, you have confidence, but in uh, uh, English, you have two words, one for the head and the other for, <laughs> for the that. feeling, yes, okay? Okay. trust and confidence. Mm -hmm. And to increase that, I think that first, that informatician people do a good job, a good <laughs> uh, produce good product. Okay, so that figure was what you say, eighty yeah. percent of products of, of projects yeah. are not coming in on time or on budget or doing yeah. what they say. So, do you it, like uh, another example? Uh, please. Uh, in Switzerland, yes. it was uh, it is well known, but nobody reacts. During the first thirteen years of this new century and only for federal offices, not the canton, the communities, or the private sector, one billion of Swiss francs for software development was put in the waste basket. Is right. it uh, satisfying? Yes. No, but I take your point. But you're talking about, um, I guess, the people who, uh, 
commission these projects and, yeah. and ask for work to be done. I'm, I'm thinking more in terms of general trust in a, in a post Snowden society, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, post Snowden revelation society. How do we build general trust with the public uh, in, in what they expect from their ICTs? There was a, a nice humanist called Albert, ja uh, Albert Jacquard. He died uh, four years ago, I think. He, I quote him. Efficiency is an underproduct of lucidity. Okay? I think you can <laughs> copy that uh, <laughs> mechanism. That security is an underproduct of transparency and education. Well, uh, Mr. Morel, unfortunately, I think we'll have to leave it there. I thank you very much for your time today. Yeah, thank you.